What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to flash uh, an Atmega 328P microcontroller um, over SPI using another uh, ATmega 328P which is on an Arduino Uno. Now you might be wondering why we want to use the microcontroller directly when we could just use the Arduino Uno uh, board directly. And I'd say the number one reason is uh, maybe cost. So if you were to buy an Arduino Uno, uh, you would spend uh, around $30 versus about $7 if you were to buy the microcontroller directly, or I guess $7.8. And uh, it's actually cheaper if you just buy um, like this one, for example, which is an SMT version of the microcontroller. Uh, another reason might be that you're curious uh, how to actually uh, develop uh, on the microcontroller directly and you wanna learn some firmware development and not rely so much on Arduino itself. So for this reason, uh, you might find yourself in a situation where you're uh, looking to buy the microcontroller, or if you already have the Arduino, you can just pull the chip uh, right off. And there actually are cheaper alternatives. Uh, for example, I would suggest um, another one, which is pretty much identical, called the Elego Uno. And it's a little bit cheaper. So setting up the microcontroller system on a breadboard is pretty simple. Uh, I have a bare bones layout right here, which has the chip in the middle. We have the power and ground rails, and we have a crystal oscillator here. Uh, so you can actually see like on the Arduino Uno, there's also a crystal oscillator. So you're gonna need one if you're taking the chip right off and putting it onto a breadboard. Um, you also need to have a pull-up resistor uh, going to the reset pin. And I added a push button here on the reset pin uh, just in case I wanted to do uh, a reset manually, but you don't need that. And lastly, uh, I have the LED on the pin that I'm going to be controlling in this demo. So the way that the flashing uh, happens is over ICSP, which stands for in-circuit serial programming. And this is essentially just SPI. So I have the pinout for the Atmega 328P here, and we're gonna need six pins. We're gonna need power ground, uh, and then the Mazi Mizo um, source clock, and then reset. And those are gonna be hooked up to the respective pins on the Arduino microcontroller. And I'll demonstrate how you can turn the Arduino into a flashing device. Now, I'm not gonna spend too much time going into the code uh, for this side project, but I'm just gonna briefly explain what I'm trying to do. So I'm trying to blink uh, a certain LED and this happens to be the same LED that the bootloader uh, blinks, which is convenient because if we hook up an LED in the right spot, we can see the bootloader flash and we can see uh, the GPIO flash when the code is running. So it's a convenient pin to use. So if you're curious, PB5 is actually digital pin 13 uh, if you're using the Arduino framework. But since we're using the microcontroller directly, we have to uh, use the fifth bit of the port B. So I'm just gonna briefly go through the code real quick. So there are two registers that we need to control, and that would be the port B direction register and the port B uh, data register. Um, I have a period uh, constant here, which is just 2 million, and I'll explain what that's going to do later. Um, and so essentially, we're just going to set the data direction um, register equal to one shifted left five times, which is equal to 32, but um, it doesn't really matter how you write it. We could have we written it as 32 or one shifted left five times, 
Uh, but I like writing it this way because it kind of illustrates better that we want to turn on the fifth port. Um, so that's why we're going to shift one left five times. And the way uh, that this direction register works is that if, if there's a one uh, at a certain place in the byte, then that will set this uh, pin as an output pin. And then in the loop, uh, I have pretty much a custom delay function, uh, which will set the pin either on or off for a certain period of time. And then uh, do it again down here. Now I've set them both to false right now. And the reason I did that is so if I change one of them to true uh, later, we'll be able to see that the code is actually working. So right now uh, the light should be off and that's expected. If you're curious what this custom delay does, uh, it's just going to iterate for however many clock cycles defined by period, in this case, 2 million. Uh, I wanted to create a program uh, that didn't use any Arduino code, I mean, other than the setup and loop, um, just kind of as a personal project, but it doesn't really matter too much. The only thing uh, that I really wanna kind of demonstrate here is that we can flash this code uh, onto the chip right here. Uh, and we're gonna do that using another Arduino. So how do we actually get the other Arduino to program the chip that we want? So there's something called an in-serial programmer, and we're going to make this device an in-serial programmer. And the way we can do that is we can go to File, Examples, and we'll go to Arduino ISP, which stands for Arduino in Serial Programmer. Now you don't actually uh, need to know really how this code works. The only thing you need to know is that it uses SPY. So you're gonna need to know which pins are MOSI, MISO, source clock, and obviously power and ground. And it tells us right here that digital pin 11, 12, and 13 are going to be uh, the pins that we need. So we can just hook up the spy pins from this Arduino and then hook them up to the right place directly on the microcontroller and then we can actually flash the chip directly. Uh, so before we do that, we're just going to actually put this code onto the Arduino, which is going to be the ISP, which in our case is connected to COM6. So we can just upload it. And it is done. So now let's hook up the breadboard. So the first thing we're going to do is connect uh, pin 13, which is the source clock pin, to PB5, which is also source clock on the microcontroller. And then we're going to connect pin 12, which is going to be MISO. And then finally, we're going to connect pin 11, which is going to be the MOSI pin. The last thing we need to do is connect any uh, digital output really to the reset pin. Uh, and the default pin is going to be pin 10 in the ISP sketch. So now that we've connected all the ICSP pins, we're ready to flash our code through the Arduino onto the AppMega chip. So we're gonna go to our sketch and we're gonna double check that the Arduino Uno is still selected. And then you also have to make sure that the programmer type is set to Arduino as ISP. And then go to sketch and click upload using programmer. You can now remove all the ICSP cables other than power and ground and watch the program run on its own. And that wraps up this tutorial. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe and stay tuned for more tutorials on electronics and firmware.